Around 1482, the Portuguese built El Minas which is the oldest and the largest slave castle in all of East Africa. When this Portuguese built an altar, and this altar represents the African traditional spirituality. There's a difference between spirituality and religion. Our ancestors would practice, practice spirituality. There are 70 celebrations of this in Cape Coast, but this altar is the leader, and this altar is called Nana Tabe. The man sitting on the altar is the traditional priest. He's in charge of the altar. His name is Nana Kwame Kunkra. He's in charge. However, this altar was established in the Middle Dungeon after the abolition of the Transatlantic State. But it used to be a very big tunnel. Please begin right here. Very big one. Right here. Big tunnel. Now, the English colonizers would change the African name the Middle Dungeon. Forced to go through the tunnel system to the goal of global eternity. However, this tunnel was seen in the year 1834 to official magic abolishment of the Transatlantic State Church. I want to go out there and go to share the tunnel. But please don't, don't let them tell me that they abolished the Transatlantic State Church. There has never been an abolition. Europeans realized that they took them a lot of black people, so they wanted a transformation. Tell you this. I don't know if you're going to go to the house. It's a very nice house. I don't know if you're going to go to the house. I don't know if you're going to go to the house. I don't know if you're going to go to the house. I don't know Never dies. Our ancestors hold us from within our own bodies, guiding us through our reflections. Light refracted. And this was a church on top of the mill dungeon. Oh, I can't. This is a. This was a church. <laughs> I can't believe it. They the can't. Right, right on top of them. It's crazy. The English had a church. This, this is the part that we all do not Yeah, pray, praying their sins away. Absolutely. Please come. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> they will ignore you until you can. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> The African men in the Middle Dungeon tried to fight back for their freedom and right. All the African men in the Middle Dungeon who tried to fight back for their freedom and right were killed in this cell. I personally call this cell the grave of Cape Coast Slave Castle. It used to have three doors. First door, the middle door, and the last door. All the African men in the Middle Dungeon who tried to challenge or who tried to fight back were brought in this cell. They were left in there. Without food, air, light, and one to the ground. Slowly. I don't care. 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 I don't It, it's this tunnel system that begins in the middle dungeon. Oh. It goes through like this to the door of no return. The door of no return. Yeah, that is okay. what I'm taking it. Careful. Okay. <laughs> Some people are of the view that the tunnel system begins in the middle of the uh, inner castle, to keep this castle. That's a fallacy. The tunnel begins right in the middle dungeon to this very part of the slave castle. Now, from where we are standing right now, we were supposed to be seeing the male slave dungeon. But because the tunnel was sealed off in the year 1834, that is why it became sealed. And the reason why the tunnel was sealed off was because in the year 1833 was the abolishment of the transatlantic slave trade. But because the British were very selfish and greedy, what did they do? 
they still kept coming. Yeah. Yeah. They kept coming. And there was a governor we called Captain George Macleod. He sealed off the town later in 1834 to official market punishment. But there used to be a door right here, very small door. We call the door of no return, size wise. I'm, the, I'm just demonstrating very small. The blood in the DNA of my ancestors. This black energy never dies. And this is called a female punishment cell. We've not been to the female dungeons yet. In a female, there are two female dungeons. Each one of them have 250 African women. And, you know, the women were half naked in the female dungeons. They were menstruating there, they were defecating there. And the English colonizers will go through the doors to sexual abuse them. But some women, they didn't want to let their dignity, self respect, to be taken for granted in the foreign America. So the English colonizers, because of them, they designed a small cell like this to punish all the African women who did they allow the English colonizers to sexually abuse them, to bring them here. There used to be a big door here to lock them out. It was in this small cell that the African women menstruated, they defecated, they slept here, they were half naked, they had rashes on their bodies. Many of them had cancer. Food and water was given to them through that small window, which they call a vent. However, in moderation. So some women. Now, there. right above our heads lies the door of return. No, that door is not part of the castle system. The door of return was introduced in 1998 as part of a historical festival we call Panamist. But before the door of return was introduced, there were skeletons of two people that would go back to the mother. Now. These two people are called Samuel Castle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 What's up? 